Hello, good morning children. Today let us study about the changing environment. Changing environment in the lesson Geographical Features and Prehistoric India. Changing environment. What all the changes take taken place during those days? Now, 12, it is believed that 12,000 years ago major changes took place in the Earth's and environment. What are the changes? The Earth's temperature began to increase. Because of the increase in the temperature, uh, development of there was development in the grass development of grasslands. Because of the grassland development of grasslands, there was the, the birds and animals began to multiply, and animals pros growth prospered or growth. There was a growth in the grassland. That animals growth was was there in the grassland. And humans, those who are killing the animals for the purpose of them flesh and skin, they captured them and bought them up. He, this began the animal husbandry and dairy. That is, they kept the animals for the purpose, for the purpose of the milk or the eggs or whatever uses of uses are from these animals. They started to keep the animals at home. Then humans learn to grow the crops and use them as food. They begin to uh, grow the crops and use them for their as a food. These were the changing changes in the environment. That is a twelve. It is believed that twelve thousand years ago, major changes took place in the Earth's environment. Earth's temperature began to increase. And there was the development of grassland. And because of the development of grasslands and because of the increase in the, the temperature, birds and animals began to multiply and animals prospered in these grasslands. Humans, those who are catching, killing the animals for the purpose of their flesh and the skin, captured the animals and bought them up. And human learn to grow crops and use them as food. These were the changes taken place during the prehistoric India. Now, the archaeologists um, believe that 2 million years was the old stone age. And the, the old stone age and middle stone age, new stone age. The, the, these are the showing the stages of the prehistoric age. That is the old stone age, middle stone age, new stone age. Old stone age is from, from 2 million years to 12,000 years. Then middle stone age is from 12,000 years to 10,000 years. And new stone age after 10,000 years. Archaeologists divided these into Old Stone Age, Middle Stone Age and New Stone Age. They believe that 2 million years is the oldest Stone Age and they classified them in further into three. That is the earliest Old Stone Age, Middle Old Stone Age and Late Old Stone Age. Early Old Stone Age middle old stone age and late old stone age that is between the 2 million years to 12,000 years. These were the class diagram showing the stages of the prehistoric age. Then during the prehistoric age you have learned that the, what are the tools used by the men during those days. They were the nomads they were wandering from place to place and they were using the stones woods and the bones of the animals for cutting the trees for killing the animals for cooking the food or oh, now this is these tools are different from the early periods earlier early periods were using the bones and the wood and stone but here, new Stone Age people were using the tools which were bright, which were bright and had sharp edges, sharp edges. 
and they were using the stone or the tools for purpose of grinding leaves and herbs and pots and pans were used for storing grains cooking rice wheat etc then people uh, learn to weave cloth also during do these days this is the new stone age people the tools used by the new stone age people this is the lesson about the geographical feature and prehistoric india now in this lesson you have learnt about the nine neighboring countries nine union territories 28 states and the physical divisions of the of india that is the himalayan mountain the gangetic plain deccan plateau and the coastal plains then you have learnt about the prehistoric india that is the prehistoric period before discovery of the writing that is called the prehistoric period and the tools used by the people and where the people lived and what the sites were called that is called residential sites or the industrial sites and the uh, drawings found on the walls of the caves caves and fires use uses of use they use the fires that we we found there in the caves of karnal ashes were found in the caves of and uh, caves of the karnal so that we came to know that they were using the fires then uh, changing changing changes in the environment changes in the environment and what are the different stages of the uh, stages of the prehistoric age and also tools used in the new storage these were the lesson you learnt in the lesson geographical features and prehistoric india thank you children